I, I think it's, it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. Like, can you imagine a car coming off the line in less than five seconds? That's, that's like, whoa. In just five seconds, the GigaPress turns a metal slab into a complete Tesla, reducing 70 parts to just one. This innovation brings Tesla closer to its goal of 20 million vehicles per year by 2030, making Elon Musk's dream a reality. How is this new GigaPress technology revolutionizing Tesla EVS? Before we begin, please help us reach 4,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot Gen 3, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How does the new GigaPress technology cast cars so quickly? Imagine a colossal machine weighing 50,000 tons, about the size of a three-story building laid on its side, operating silently as the heartbeat of Tesla's production line. To run this GigaPress, Tesla may need to build a dedicated facility with reinforced concrete foundations several meters deep to support its immense weight. Compared to the current GigaPress models like the 6,000-ton or 9,000-ton versions, this 50,000-ton press delivers a significantly greater clamping force, 8.3 times and 5.5 times higher, respectively. According to some estimates, the machine is approximately 20 meters long, between 12 to 15 meters tall, and 10 to 12 meters wide, with a total mass exceeding 3,000 tons. In principle, the operation of the 50,000-ton Giga Press is not vastly different from its predecessors. The first step is material preparation. Pure aluminum combined with leftover scraps from previous casting cycles is melted in a furnace, reaching up to 850 degrees Celsius. Then, the molten metal is transferred into a sealed holding furnace, where the temperature is maintained between 750 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius to ensure structural consistency. Tesla uses a two-furnace system, one powered by natural gas to melt the aluminum and the other running on electricity to maintain and regulate the temperature of the molten metal. So I mean, we, we, got, we got to jam the, the liquid metal in, cool it down real fast, like real fast. <laughs> the furnace chamber is infused with nitrogen gas to prevent oxidation and maintain a stable temperature. During the refining stage, operators use argon gas, a rotary degassing system, and a silicon carbide filter to remove impurities larger than 25 microns, ensuring the metal meets the highest quality standards before entering the casting process. Because um, like then we can make, with, in a single casting machine, we could do like five at a time or something, you know? Um, I'm trying to think like, how do you scale castings? Because you got liquid metal, metal's got to cool, uh, and then you've got to automate, you know, getting all the bits and pieces off the casting so that it's usable. Before each casting cycle begins, the Giga Press uses a robot to lubricate the mold, spraying about 35 milliliters of soybean oil in a thin, even layer, much like oiling a baking tray. Next, a vacuum system removes the air, and molten aluminum is poured into the injection chamber. There, a high-speed piston, lubricated with 8 milliliters of oil, shoots the liquid metal into the mold under immense pressure. As the aluminum begins to solidify inside the mold, the casting is ejected at around 400 degrees Celsius. It is then immersed in a water tank to rapidly cool it down to about 50 degrees Celsius. This step not only accelerates the process, but also enhances the material's physical properties. After each cycle, the mold is cooled to around 185 degrees Celsius and cleaned by a robot to prepare it for the next injection, which takes place every one to two minutes. Excess aluminum from each casting is trimmed and recycled back into the furnace, creating an efficient closed loop system. The final product is x-rayed to inspect for completeness and structural integrity. One of the biggest engineering challenges is ensuring the mold does not crack or deform under extreme pressure. For this reason, the 50,000-ton GigaPress is designed to generate immense clamping force to keep the mold perfectly fixed throughout the casting process. This key feature makes the machine a symbol of industrial strength and technological breakthrough in the electric vehicle era. According to Elon Musk, to achieve record-breaking productivity, Tesla developed an ultra-fast cooling system, an automated mold release mechanism, and an AI-powered quality inspection process. This combination of technologies is unprecedented in the automotive industry. 
no other manufacturer has dared to implement it on such a massive scale. For the first time, car manufacturing has been brought closer to the electronics industry model, with high-speed extreme automation and space efficiency. Alongside the investment in the 50,000-ton Gigapress, Tesla has also introduced several improvements to the Model Y's design. According to Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of engineering and head of product design, the rear underbody of the Model Y has been redesigned to be 7 kilograms lighter. This change not only cuts 15% of the weight but also reduces machining time by half. The benefits are significant, including better performance, longer range, increased body rigidity, and reduced torsion during cornering. Since 2020, the Giga casting process has made major advancements. One of the most notable upgrades is conformal cooling, which allows cooling channels to be shaped along the mold contours. This reduces the cycle time from 170 seconds to just 75 seconds on the 6,000-ton press. As a result, the Model Y is produced faster, with greater precision and consistency. However, Tesla has not applied front-end Giga casting to every new Model Y. According to Lars, most production lines still rely on traditional stamped metal for the front structure. Only a few factories, such as those in Texas and Berlin, are currently testing a combined solution of dual-end Giga casting and a structural battery pack. Tesla aims to maintain a uniform body design across its global production lines so that components can be interchangeable between factories. This strategy helps reduce supply chain risks. However, many analysts believe Tesla is deliberately holding back full-scale front-end Giga casting because it's reserving this capability for a strategic upcoming model, the CyberCab. Elon Musk previously revealed that the CyberCab could be manufactured in just five seconds thanks to the new Gigapress. At this speed, Tesla could produce up to five CyberCab frames in a matter of seconds, setting a technological record that could redefine the entire automotive industry. The idea of producing a car in just five seconds was once unthinkable in the automotive world. But with the CyberCab's groundbreaking one-piece cast design, Tesla is turning that into reality. According to an engineer involved in the program, the CyberCab only consists of about 80 structural parts, a significant reduction compared to the approximately 200 structural parts in the Model Y. This means Tesla has cut more than 60% of structural components, significantly simplifying the assembly process and accelerating product completion. For comparison, the Model Y, Tesla's best-selling car globally, is currently produced at a rate of around one car every 35 seconds at Giga Shanghai, the most productive automotive factory in the world. With the minimalist design of the CyberCab and the power of the 50,000-ton Giga Press, the goal of cutting production time from 35 seconds to just 5 seconds is entirely within reach. With the CyberCab, Tesla is not just building a car without a steering wheel or pedals. It is reinventing the very way cars are made. This is more than just a design innovation. It is a complete revolution in manufacturing. Instead of traditional assembly lines, Tesla is moving toward a network-based production model. Human labor is replaced with automated robotic systems. And rather than assembling parts one by one, everything is integrated from prefabricated modules, similar to assembling Lego blocks. Once again, please help us reach 4,500 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Which new Tesla model is using the latest Gigapress technology? And that's actually kind of how they do it in like small volume castings. They'll like do have a casting block that'll make like, you know, 100 matchbox cars at a time. Um, why don't we just make that real big? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have the cathedral of casting back there. If Tesla were to apply the same production model as the two existing Model Y assembly lines at Gigafactory Shanghai, but adjust the pace to suit the CyberCab, then two such lines could produce one vehicle every five seconds. That translates to a weekly output of 178,000 units. And with just 40 production weeks per year, the total would exceed 7 million vehicles. Tesla has previously mentioned a target of producing 2 million CyberCabs per line by 2026. If the five-second cycle is accurate, Tesla may need to intentionally limit production capacity to avoid overshooting market demand or logistics capabilities.
as manufacturing costs drop sharply thanks to GigaPress technology and an ultra-simplified production process. The CyberCab's profit margins are expected to rise significantly, while consumer demand could skyrocket. What's truly noteworthy here isn't just the speed or the cost, it's the entirely new production model that Tesla is developing. This is not merely a vehicle, but a bold demonstration of a breakthrough approach that could transform the very concept of global-scale manufacturing. And the CyberCab is just the beginning. According to various sources, the upcoming affordable EV, the Tesla Model 2, will also use a chassis platform similar to the CyberCab. The primary differences are that the Model 2 will retain a steering wheel, pedals, and space for five passengers. In a global context where raw material prices, battery costs, and labor wages are all rising rapidly, Elon Musk remains committed to the ambition of producing a low-cost electric car. Technologies like gigacasting, along with innovations across the supply chain, have made that goal not just a dream, but a tangible possibility. Without this unibody casting system, the dream of a truly affordable EV would likely remain stuck on paper. Much like the CyberCab, the most crucial advantage of applying gigacasting to the Model 2 is the ability to slash production time to record braking levels. While the CyberCab may take just about 5 seconds to complete, the Model 2 could require only around 10 seconds, still far faster than any traditional automotive production line today. Even though the global EV market showed signs of slowing in the first quarter, Tesla maintained its leadership position. In the U.S., the Model Y and Model 3 remained the two best-selling EVs. Specifically, the Model Y recorded 64,051 units sold, down 33.8% from the same period last year, largely because customers are waiting for the refreshed version. Meanwhile, the Model 3 surged with 52,520 units sold, up 70.3%. The Cybertruck, despite being newly launched, already reached 6,406 units sold, enough to place it in the top 10 best-selling EVs in the U.S. Model S and Model X, meanwhile, recorded 1,280 and 3,843 units sold, respectively. Despite ongoing public controversy surrounding Elon Musk, Tesla continues to prove its technological supremacy, leading performance and tightly integrated ecosystem factors that help the company maintain dominance in the EV space. These are the highlights we wanted to share with you today. We hope this gives you deeper insight into Giga Press technology, the CyberCab, and the Model 2 3 vital pieces of Tesla's global strategy. For Tesla, technology is not just a tool for show, it's a means to achieve long term strategic goals. With the 50,000 ton Giga Press and a fully reimagined production line, Tesla is steadily redefining what a modern car factory looks like a place where robots, artificial intelligence, and molten aluminum work in harmony to create vehicles, second by second. A cybercab can be cast and completed in an incredibly short time, without the need for hundreds of meters of traditional assembly lines or a massive human workforce. All it takes is an intelligent robot system, high-speed AI, and a massive press machine operating non-stop. However, turning this vision into reality is no easy feat. Scaling unibody casting requires mastering a highly complex thermodynamic process that occurs under extreme pressure. When molten aluminum is injected into a mold at high speed, it must fill the entire cavity swiftly and evenly before it cools and solidifies. The larger the mold, the longer the aluminum must travel, increasing the risk of defects. If the injection is too fast, air bubbles can form, weakening the structure. If too slow, the metal might cool prematurely, leaving the mold partially unfilled. All of this must be precisely controlled inside a 50,000-ton machine. With the CyberCab, Tesla isn't just developing a car without a steering wheel or pedals, it is reinventing how cars are made. This isn't just a design innovation, it's a complete manufacturing revolution. Instead of the traditional linear assembly line, Tesla is shifting toward a network-based production model. Human labor is replaced by automated robotic systems. And rather than assembling individual parts by hand, everything is integrated from prefabricated modules, much like snapping together Lego blocks. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video.
If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.